Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Simply and Fun, Easy and Cooking family. How have you been doing? If you're watching this, you have made it into the year 2022. And that means that God has a blessing just for you. And he has more work for you to do on this earth. Well, Happy New Year, everyone. I'm so glad that everyone is still doing wonderful and great and beautiful. Well, I had a wonderful Christmas. I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. The last video I made was a Thanksgiving video. I had made the turkey. And now I am back and I am so happy. I spent a wonderful time with my family and we're just so thankful for God for bringing us to this new year and we're so grateful for you all we're God we're guys we have a lot of food here so what we want to do is we want to pray and we're going to talk about the new year and what God has in store for his people and for all of us so let's pray Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord God, for making us in the new year, Father. We ask you to bless this food. We ask you to sanctify it, purify it for the nutrition of our bodies. And we give you all the praise and all the glory. In the blessed name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Where guys, I am regularly dig in. We are here in Michigan State. If you're in Michigan, you want to try out Vitalis. There's a lot of different Vitalis, but this Vitalis is on the northeast side on Leonard Street, and it is good. And so we got a, what we have here, Taylor, we got a deep dish. We have a deep dish deluxe pizza. Oh, yes, and doesn't it look good? And we got some bread sticks over here, guys. And we made some drinks, and we'll get to talk about these drinks. These are not alcoholic drinks. Um, I love making not alcoholic drinks because everybody think you have to have some booze to have fun, and that's not true. Um, and so I made some um, non-alcoholic drinks. And so, but I am hungry. So let's get our pizza. To, and we see we got our candles going. Ted, can you blow out the the two two? To let the stars still go. Okay, guys. And I'm gonna grab me a slice. I got some wax on mine. So I'm gonna have to take off. Look at how big the slice of pizza is, guys. It is definitely looking good over here I got some wax on my eyes guys yes Vitaly's is the place when I want to um, not cook and have something that's going to taste real good guys look at this it looks delicious let me get my first bite in yeah. Mmm. So good. We got some peppers here. We got some Parmesan cheese. Here, do you want any of these um, red peppers? Yes, please. Um. So we got some of that. Um. Well, guys. Guys, God has been good to us this year. And if you're still here and you made it in 2022, I know he has been good to you. You know, because of COVID, we lost a lot of people. But God is still good and he's still on the throne. And there's no grief on this earth that heaven can comfort. Um, so... If you lost a loved one this year, I just want to send you my sympathy. Um, and I just want to encourage you that their life is not in vain, that you will be able to see them again. And we pray God's comfort for you. Um, so I'm just so thankful to make it over in 2022. And I want to talk to you all about um, just a few things about what I have learned and what, um, cause you know, I don't believe in making resolutions. Um, I believe in receiving a revelation and an understanding of what happened the year before. And one of the things I have learned is that it's important for us to love everyone and not be quick to judge anyone. Um, and I learned to be patient. That is important for us to be patient with each other. We all are on this journey together. Um, some people roads are bumpier than others and we have to learn to be patient and we have to learn to show love to everyone. 
And lastly, but always learn to put God first um, in your life. Them are the lessons that I'm taking into 2022. How about you, Taylor? Uh, well, um, I guess like in 2021, I learned a lot about myself and to take care of yourself and um, and try not to help. Uh, sometimes you can help a lot of people and, and you're feeling down yourself. So I guess take care of yourself and um, pray and um, read your word and stay encouraged and just be a light for everyone around you. Amen. Ted said, take care of yourself first. And that's very important because I know I love people and I love to help people and I love to, and I'm a giver. Um, but sometimes we have to make sure home is taken care of first before we try to go abroad because we're no good to nobody when we don't take care of ourselves. And so that's, that's very good. Mm. We have some ranch dip. Right here, guys. These are store brought um, bread sticks. We just uh, put them in the oven. Mm. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, so this first one, I made some non-alcoholic margaritas. There's so many different ways you can make them. Um, you should see a video above uh, me showing you. The first thing you want to do is find you a really nice glass. Usually margarita glasses kind of look like this. And you want to either use sugar or you want to use salt. Or you can buy the margarita salt. And you want to first um, take your glass and you want to um, put lime, take a cut a piece of lime and put it all around the rim of it. Um, and then you want to take your um, glass and put the salt in it or the sugar in it. Depends. Now, what I did, if you can hand me that, Taya, with this particular one, I made a strawberry, um, ooh, a strawberry I got it margarita and I use a syrup but you don't have to I use about three cups of ice because I was making it for more than uh, one person and I um, put some of the um, strawberry um, margarita um, syrup in there probably about uh, about a cup or a half a cup depending and then I added some um, um, cherry ginger ale to it and then I added a little bit of squirt of lemon lime juice but there are so many different ways that you can make your margarita you could get some frozen concentrated juice and use that and add ice there's so many different ways mm. And guys, I thought this was so cute. During the Christmas time, I found, I, I found these straws. And they were peppermint straws. Look at this. Isn't that cute? They're peppermint candy straws. Let's see, do it work. Mmm. It worked, guys. Mmm. That was the first type of margarita I made. It was a strawberry one. And that's yours, Taya, right there. And this one was an orange juice. I added orange orange juice. Um, just regular orange juice. I throw some um, fruit in there. And I added this, um, how you pronounce that? Grenadine? Grenadine? Grenadine um, syrup, which adds that um, nice red flavor in a drink it's rose product are used around the world to add a special flavor to food and drink 
And so that's why you see with this one, you see the, the red at the bottom. Mm. I like how you use the um the raspberry. Oh yeah. Type drink. I'm gonna try this one. And you know my favorite guys, any of you who've been watching me, you could take frozen cranberries, put some cranberries. You get them in a the bag at the store. Like this. And you could just add them to a nice glass. These are frozen. These been in my refrigerator. Ooh, I added a lot. And this is not alcoholic. This is sparkling white grape. What is that one right here, Taya? Sparkling rose grape. Let's do the sparkling rose grape for this one, guys. Ooh. Assistant, can you open this? Let me get my assistant to open it. This pizza place make the best their sauce <clears throat> that they make is so good. <clears throat> Who's having a hard time opening this? So <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it don't got no scorps, um, corkscrew because it's not real alcohol or wine. So I don't know why we're having a hard time. So the kids is trying to open it, guys. Okay, he got it. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. So we're gonna try this. Yeah, with the cranberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to put it back here. Give me the top here, man. Yeah, put me this little guy. Okay, Taya, let's toast to a wonderful 2022. Can't can't grow off of that. <clears throat> How was your pizza, Tia? It was good. It's my um, like I was saying, it's my first time eating. Mm -hmm. 
just kind of do this. Oh, yeah. But you have a challenge before. I have, yeah, I have mm -hmm. a challenge before. I just never had their, um, their deep dish pizza before. Their pizza is very filling. It's not the type of pizza, um, you know how some places you can get pizza and you have like three or four slices? Their pizza is so good and so, um, is I don't know what you would say, meaty or, it's, it's fulfilling. More hearty like. Yeah, it's hearty. It's not like. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be sit sitting eating eleven slices. Mm -hmm. After two slices, you you basically full. Probably. And this is deep dish, but even when you don't get deep dish, it's really really good. So guys, I want you to leave in a comment <clears throat> below and tell me how your New Year's was and what are you thankful for. Um, I just want to let you know, if you made it over this year, it wasn't by accident. If you're saying to yourself, why did God let me live to see 2022? He let you live because he had purpose for you. He had plan for you and he loved you. And he has something wonderful for you. That your life is not over. We all make mistakes. Um, we're not perfect. <clears throat> we serve a perfect God. But we're not perfect. And we all are perfecting the perfectness of who Christ is every day. So don't be so hard on yourself. And don't beat yourself up. <clears throat> um, excuse me. And just enjoy life. And enjoy loving your God. Okay, you have anything to say? Um, I guess be, um, I guess be intentional about the things you, um, that your goals or, or your, um, your, um, like dreams you have, um, I mean, um, I guess try to fulfill them with God's help and, um, not depend on, on man's help to, um, help you just, you know, like a, or guide you in, um, 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 I guess how, um, now in the world, some people don't have joy, so I would say, um, on those days where you don't feel like, um, you, um, don't want to go on or, or feeling sad, um, find joy in something that, like your family or, or just even watching the TV or reading the book. Find joy in something. Yes, so be attentional. If you have made goals this year, be attentional. Do things intentional to help your goal come to pass, and you need God's help. Try to do it on your own. You'll find out you won't be able to do it. Well, thank you guys for joining Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia, where I believe that cooking should be simple. It should be easy and definitely should be fun. Till next time, Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year!